welcome to another edition of Toko Steve's Workbench here on YouTube. As you can see today, this is going to be a different little, well, it's going to be pretty much the same, same old thing. We got 302s um, on several different videos, but this one happens to be a 302 that is going to be um, sold. It's sold to a gentleman in Los Angeles by the name of Dino. It's his 302. This 302 has 1947 parts in it. It's got a 47 inside the base, as you can see at the picture, the cover. Yeah. It's got a 1947 dial. It's got 1947 network. It's got a 1947 ringer and a 1947 base. The transmitter elements and the receiver elements were upgraded later. It could have been for one reason or another. Perhaps maybe the 47 elements that came from the factory didn't last for some purpose or another. It could be that the receiver and the transmitter elements were not correct. Something happened to them. Uh, they were faulty, they needed to be replaced, whatever the case may be, when you consider that this phone is approximately 76 years old, it's a wonder that anything looks as good as it does on it. What do I mean by that? Take a look at this. It's got the, the switch hooks, the plungers are good. The back is good. Look at the picture of the of the finger grip. Look at the shine on this guy. I mean, he's got just... He is really nice. There's a couple of small areas. There's something right there. You can barely see it. I mean, barely. There, and there was something on the side, but it looks like it got buffed out. I thought I could do it, and I did. And let's look at the bottom of this guy. Look at the bottom. The bottom is just magnificent. Look at that. It looks like it came right from Western Electric showroom. So, we're going to give this guy a try and have somebody call it. So, stand by. Okay, so we're going to have somebody that's also here in the studio that's named Carter. Carter, look at the camera and say hello. Come here, over here. Over here, look right there, right into the camera. Hello. Hello, okay. So, he likes to uh, mess around and do things, but that's beside another point. Here is the jack that I assembled with the cord, and I'm going to tell you why I did that. I didn't want to put on a network adapter on the guy, because the inside wires were rubber-coated and they weren't corroded and this whole entire lead is from 1947 at least i do believe it is so i'm going to plug it in like that so i'm going to see if i have dial tone i do i do have dial tone and i'm going to call somebody right now And that's going to be appended because I'm for security reasons. Why? Because I don't want you calling my cell phone, that's why. I don't know if this is going to work or not. <laughs> She's probably not going to answer the phone at this point. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Okay. You're on a YouTube video. Oh, okay. So I'm calling you. How do I sound on the phone? You sound fine. And that's what we'd like to hear. And then, so we're going to be eating pretty soon, I guess. Uh, is Carter, Carter going to be eating? 
Yes, everybody's eating right now. Carter, you're going to get ready to eat, okay? I'm not ready. Carter, don't you want to eat? If we're having a disgusting I made you a sandwich. Come on. Come on. Carter, uh, Sachi's going to make your sandwich. I, I don't want to have a sandwich right now. Okay. You're going to eat it. Come on. It's already uh, done. Okay, well, bye. Bye. Oh, call me Wait back. Now. Okay, bye. Call me back on the home phone. Hello? Hello? Tell her to call me back on the home phone. Go. Go on. Go tell her to call me back on the home phone. Okay, so as you can see, we've got this uh, all very well choreographed. And everything is uh, running like a Swiss watch. Speaking of which, I, anyway, I'm not going to say it. Is she going to call back on the yep. home phone? Hang on a second, okay? Okay, so how do I sound? Fine. Okay, then. <laughs> I guess you're ready for us, right? Uh, What's that? Yes, honey. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, so that proves all the tests. That's the calling test. You can talk, you can be heard, they can hear you, they can call you back, the, the bells ring, that's what the phone's used for, that's what the phone is good for, that's how the phone works. Also, for those of you that don't know how the dial works, Carter didn't know, come here Carter, you're going to be on the video, come here. Here's Carter trying to make a call on the phone, pick up the phone Carter, and dial one, no, no, one, do one. You gotta put your finger in the one. One, eight, no, it's gotta go all the way around to, to right there. Right. Now let go. Then zero, and then five. And then four. And so on and so forth. Anyway, that's how that works. The, you put the finger in the dial, dial the phone number that you want to dial. So all of you will know that if you had to dial 911, you would dial 9 and then 11. All the way, 9, let go, 11. 1, 1. One. There you go. Put the, put the receiver back on the cradle. Thank you, Carter. Okay, I hope you have a good day, and thank you for watching. Bye! Another edition of Tucko Steve's Workbench. Say bye-bye, Carter. Bye! I promise I'll clean it, Dino, after he gets done with it, putting his fingers on it. Have a nice day. Bye.